And we wish everybody. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Free Flow Friday. <laughs> this is a special free flow because it is our last of the year. Wow. Mm. 2020. Yeah, we started doing these in February. So we've been with you for 10 months now. Uh, you know, started this pre pandemic. <laughs> no idea how this year would evolve. And yeah, I just want to take a moment and acknowledge that. Um, we've gone through quite a journey together too. And, you mm -hmm. know, we've been able to create and share so much with all of you. And, uh, you know, it's been a, it's undoubtedly been a challenging and hard year for a lot of us, but I think there's also the, the glimmers, the, the silver linings, the things that have come into fruition that maybe otherwise wouldn't have. And yeah, so I'm just grateful and grateful for all of you that continue to join us and mm -hmm. be a part of this. You know, it's, it's allowed us to still have this community feel, even if we haven't been able to get together and, you know, have events and workshops. So. Yeah, physically, but in a way it feels like we've really got to know this community and mm. really feels like a big global family. Yeah, it really so, is. So, yeah, with that in mind, it's really nice to go into Christmas, it I is. feel. Yeah. I'm in here a little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you can see behind us, it yes. snowed. Um, we had... I guess our first big snowfall of the year and people are saying the most snow New York's gotten in many years and this is only my second winter here so again making making the most of it um, and yeah today we're so excited hi family yeah hi and please Oh, thank you for your comments. Yeah, let us know we where you're your tuning comments. in from. It's nice, yes. We do. It brings us a lot of joy because, mm -hmm. you know, that's why we do this. That's why we create these for all of you. Um, so today we're talking about hormones, which is something that I think impacts all of us at many stages of our life, mm. whether you're... Particularly women, I think, right? Yes. They have more... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> more issues. <laughs> women really... Guys, you can take the day off. <laughs> hey, maybe some guys are watching, they're like, I know, know no. hormones. Please, or, you know, maybe you have a... If your hormones are fine, listen for your sister or your mother. Right, or right. A loved one, a family yeah, member. Yeah, because... A friend. It's just like... I feel like hormones are indicators of the waves of life. You know, some days you're like at your peak, you're going, you're on the next, you feel off, you can't really explain why, you're getting hot flashes, moody, whatever Do it you? is. I, Wait. I don't know if I get <laughs> hot flashes just yet, but I'll definitely, you know, my hormones. All right, so let's start there. For hot flashes, I really like to get into depth five which is the element of fire. So when you get a hot flash, it feels really like this fire is breaking out of you. So mm. a quick hold, and we'll just get right into this, is 26 with opposite 24. And I'm gonna, why don't you show 24? And yeah. I'll show tw 26 is right here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's 24 is right between the little toe and the ring toe and then slide up. Nice. And she is a yoga instructor too. <laughs> so it's very, very comfortable actually to sit like this. And mm. so when you feel a hot flash coming on, then you can just go into this depth five hold and just it will just subside and I've I've used this um, when I have clients and they say oh I feel one coming on and quickly take a break from the flow and go into uh, the 24 with opposite 26 mm. this That's hold nice. also harmonizes chaos and in a way I feel that hormonal uh, imbalance it really feels like chaos I mean sometimes we don't even like recognize our bodies, like what's going on. It, right. it feels kind of out of control. So this yes. will help on that level as well. Yes. So everybody's joining uh, in holding this for a moment. 
it's also nice to harmonize chaos in this season because there's so much going on, so many um, emotions. Activities, are, I guess, are less this year, so maybe some chaos inside and then we'll mm. just harmonize that. For yeah. any kind of hormonal project, the holding the ring finger is really important. So a quick hold is holding 11 and the ring finger. So you can place one hand on your 11 and with the other hand make a ring with your thumb over your ring finger nail like this. Mm, that's nice. Mm -hmm. And can this be used, yeah, even beyond hot flashes, like if someone's having um, anything with like their time of the month or absolutely <laughs> so this will really bring balance this is probably the most important flow for bringing balance to our hormonal system this quick little flow mm. so practice one side practice the other side men have plenty of hormones <laughs> that need balancing too here you go this one is for you ain't that the trip <laughs> Not just us women. I know, yeah. Um, yeah, so this one is, I'm just, oh, I'm just really getting it into this. Nice. I'm like becoming all quiet here. So I just, you yeah. know, really feel this one. This is nice. And reminding ourselves that all we're doing really is bringing balance between right and left side. So another one that's very important is uh, looking at depth four, the chemical balance. It brings balance to the chemistry in our body. And of course, when we're dealing with hormones, that's really the chemical river of life. So the 23s are very important. SEL 23, which is I yeah, turn around. Yeah. In her it's right there. Sweater. Yes. Yeah. And again, you can use back of the hand, right? That's yeah, you can use easier. back of your hand, lying down. Put your you can put your fist in there. Really, it feels mm -hmm. nice too. Get right into those tight muscles and open up the back. So twenty threes are very very important. And of course, I do have a special flow that I like to share with you today. That is specifically very very helpful for hormones, and it's also a sequence that I use almost every time on people and you'll find out where when we practice it so Lovely. i'm reading along a little bit uh, oh. from the core here it is <laughs> and um yeah i'm gonna just show it to you briefly there it is so mm. lola's gonna read along the notes mm -hmm. and i'm gonna tell you how to practice so practice along with us and place one hand on the opposite four. So this hand goes here. Yeah. And then place your other hand on the upper arm. You can, we're gonna clear that whole upper arm and that's gonna help our uh, shoulder area. So we're gonna start here at the elbow, which helps 19, it's 19, SEL 19, which helps to clear the uh, SEL9, which is the bottom of the shoulder blade. Mm. Yeah. So I'm going to show after this flow how to practice on someone else, but this is how you're practicing it on yourself. Yes. And then when the four starts to open up, this flow is called, it's actually, it's a sequence. It's the four, 12, 11, three. So you're clearing the whole neck. And this is one of the reasons why I use it so often and not just for hormonal balance. Mm -hmm. Cause people tend to get tight in their necks. Oh yeah. So uh, if you feel very clear in the four, you can move down to the 12, to the 11 and to the three. Okay. So we just go where you feel that you need it most. And I'm just gonna move along the four, yeah. 12, 11, three. So I'm gonna share a little bit about each of these. Uh, starting with the four, the physical meaning is manager for all elements. Ingredients are introduced into the system. And the universal meaning behind SEL4 is formless to form, unconsciousness to consciousness, spirit into matter. Yeah, so if you think of all elements, ingredients are introduced into the system, isn't that very much finding hormonal balance? So it's in these right. 
practical meanings and universal meanings, you can find so many answers. Now, let's just move our hand to the, a little bit higher, so away from the elbow, going slowly to high 19, and mm. start moving your hand down to the 12. Down to 12. Yeah. So 12, the physical meaning is left helps destructive tendencies, right helps deeper emotions. Ah, so right the 12 now. helps deeper emotions, yeah. absolutely. We're finding so much uh, in the 12s. The 12s help tell us about our waistline, um, where our ego is, where our mind is, uh, about our human beingness. And then I'm gonna move to 11. And I'm gonna place my hand on the 11 with the palm and then my fingers I place right on the three. So now you see why it's called mm. um, four, 12, oh, 11, okay. three sequence. And just move your hand up here. Start moving it up to the high 19. And again, get to know your body. It will feel different for everybody. You will find um, congestion in, in different spots for different people. So that's why I always say just keep uh, explore in your body. So the 11 is like the janitor clears from head to toe and the three is the respiratory specialist. Ooh, Ooh, so so one. important. This is a powerful sequence. Um, 11, 12, 4 and 3 are the master keys. They help to clear body, mind and spirit and yeah I feel like also we, especially in the Western world, we're so in our minds and we can so easily forget that it, it can just feel like we have a life up here in our head and then this body attached. And I feel like opening these SELs is this reminder like we are this whole being and that, you know, our being knows so much more beyond our mind that it's like tapping into what our body and our innate knowing is telling us. Um, you know, which bridges over to more Eastern modalities and seeing individuals as, yeah, holistic being. Mm -hmm. It's so important to see us as a whole, body, mind, spirit connection, and then relating it to everything else around us, which is really what I'm doing a lot, right? Yeah, like, oh my God. Which zooms and connects and uh, link lives and all of those. Yeah. We're all going for the same thing, bringing balance into our body. Mm -hmm. right. And then just go and hold the ring finger. So this looks also very much like the first step of the large intestine flow. So you see how all these cycles of energy begin to overlap. And again, this is very much also like what I just showed you this one, yeah. you see, holding the yeah, 11 yeah. and the ring finger. So you can play around with it and see what feels right to you. Uh, be creative. I mean, we are always following the, the flows and sequences uh, in that order that Jim Rai created because he did a lot of research. But for the self-help, see what feels good for you. And I just would like to show it if you want to practice it on someone else. She's gonna show on me. Yeah, so... Um, I would be uh, sitting on her um, right side. I would be sitting on this side and then I would clear this side of the neck. So I would be like this. So I would go to the opposite shoulder. Okay, it looks kind of weird like now, but when the person is lying yeah. down, it's very, it's very easy because you just, you know, you just slide in like this. Yeah. So it would be like this and then clearing that whole shoulder blade. And then as you're moving down, to here, and then holding that here, that finger, like that. So mm -hmm. that's that's the flow. How to that's a sequence. How to practice it on someone else. Very powerful, wonderful. They're gonna love you for it. Yeah. So uh, yeah, choose someone. Give them the gift of Jinshin. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. And even if that's yourself, you know. Um, yeah, I wanted to one more for like her age and <laughs> I had a lot of questions about uh, menstrual cramps and um, mm. yeah it's low 23 and the tailbone so do you want to turn around oh okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Or I don't think you can turn. I can turn. I have okay, to turn. Okay, she's got the turning yeah. chair. <laughs> so can you see it like this? Yeah. So it's a tailbone and load 23 helps with uh, menstrual cramps. All right? Good to so know. I think we got the whole spectrum here. <laughs> if there's any questions, uh, please ask us. Yeah, please do. And like we said, if you weren't with us at the start of this, that this is our last free flow Friday of the year. So, wow, it's wild. So we will be back together with all of you 2021. You know, and I hope we can all use this time to really like Put a close, put a bookend on this year and, and sit with the things that we really want to leave in 2020 and, you know, create what a did we learn? smooth transition. Yeah, what transformed new. for us in this year? I mean, so much. I hope everybody learned and grow, grew through this very yeah. interesting I and mean, challenging we had no choice. time. We had no choice. <laughs> we were forced to grow. And, and I will that. be here, though, on Wednesday with the House of Jinshin. Yes, I just... We won't be doing it. She won't be here. Oh. <laughs> but no, I really love doing this with all of you. And yeah, leave us your comments, questions. You know, we're here and um, look forward to seeing you all next time. Bye, everyone.